Roberts. On to politics now. One day after the debate, the real clear politics average of major polls shows Donald Trump trailing Hillary Clinton by more than five points. And our CBS News election team tells us no candidate has ever come from that far back this late in a campaign to win. The Republican standard bearer continues to lose support of party members who can neither stand nor bear him. And here's Major Garrett. The last 72 hours has framed what this election is all about. Congressional Republicans couldn't agree more. Today in a conference call, House Speaker Paul Ryan told GOP colleagues he would no longer defend Trump. The Speaker is going to spend the next month focused entirely on protecting our congressional majority, said Ryan spokeswoman Ashley Strong. Just right on your way. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Ryan told Republicans angered by Trump's sexually aggressive and profane remarks in this 2005 video to run from the candidate if necessary or stand with him if their constituents are too. In other words, don't feel obligated to support your party's nominee. On Twitter, Trump said Paul Ryan should spend more time on balancing the budget, jobs and illegal immigration and not waste his time on fighting Republican nominee. On the call, some Republicans, like Dana Rohrbacker of California and Trent Franks of Arizona, lashed out at Ryan for dumping on Trump and urged Republicans to help their nominee recover. On the stump in suburban Pittsburgh, Trump said he already had. How many have watched the debate last night? How many of you? Good. 